So, hi, welcome to Larry's Hobby Garage. Today we're going to be doing a uh, upgrade of the HSD Jets F-16 that is right over there. So the UPS driver just dropped this box off. We're going to pop it open and see what's inside. Okay, so inside the shipping box is apparently another box, and it looks shrink-wrapped. So we have a shrink-wrapped box. We have a 105mm 11 blade, and that's probably the housing on there. Oh, hey, let's turn this over. Just so that you know where all this stuff is coming from, there it is. And I bought this from uh, from Andy Davis at HSD Jets USA. I have uh, made a decision a couple years ago to get basically all my batteries for uh, the F-16 and any other project that I do from RC Jetworks. Um, absolutely fantastic batteries, absolutely fantastic service. Uh, can't say enough about Andy and what he does. Okay, so I've got the cellophane off. And inside we have some foam with a little finger hole. And then we have the business end of the new upgrade. Um, and apparently I guess all the new uh, 2020 versions come with this. I actually have a V2 version over there called the Special Edition. It does have a higher 160 amp speed control in it. Uh, we'll pull the rings off here in a little bit. Pull the bottom tray out. And actually swap this out and uh, see what kind of things we run into so I actually just dumped over the box this entire thing came out all in one thing here's something that I am noticing Whee! I think we're gonna be making a lot of noise it's supposed to add about two two and a half pounds of thrust to the f-16 um, these are connectors that will go right into the speed control should be pretty easy. So, uh, getting into the engine compartment is actually pretty self explanatory. It's uh, one screw back here. One screw right there. Oh, hey, dropped a screw. And then all of this just comes up. Uh, some things to think about as we get ready to do this. Red's going to go to red, blue's going to go to yellow, black's going to go to black. Looks like we're going to have that same matchup over there. Um, we're going to take out these screws and uh, swap the unit out. And once you have the screws out, this should just lift up. We'll disconnect the wires and pull it out. Just for kicks and giggles on why this is actually happening. Um, here's the difference between the two fans. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. I um, was actually doing a taxi test. I had a LiPo slide up against the blades and start a LiPo fire inside the plane. That was kind of exciting. Don't do that. Make sure your LiPos are um, apparently bolted down. But we have a new... Uh, New setup to go ahead and put in the plane. This just should just uh, bolt right in like that. All right, so we're just gonna make sure that the uh, screws are tightened. There's 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 not probably gonna be an up and a down, so I'm gonna leave the EDF showing up, the EDF label showing up, but there is a front and a back. Um, yeah, you guys know that. You know, that's the front. That's the back. Okay, ran into our very first problem here. Um, the plugs on the V2 don't fit uh, the new plugs. I'm going to really try to force it in, see if it'll go, but I don't think it'll force. So this will more than likely void the warranty on that uh, motor, but I ran down to our local car parts store and got some butt connectors for 12 to 10 gauge. Uh, these are 12 gauge wires as they're labeled. Um, just went ahead and extended those out a little bit. 
so uh, that should fix the issue so we've got the back hatch now back in place so one of the things you'll need to do is to make sure that those wires are up there in that center groove and uh, they're not going to rub so there we go with the uh, with the hatch back in place um, the F HSD F16 uh, EDF change out there uh, whole thing really uh, 15 minutes um, actually took me longer to drive over to the auto parts store to get some uh, connectors uh, and then uh, just add in another couple minutes if you have to actually change those out but uh, yeah pretty easy all all, uh, all said together but uh, hey thanks for watching today and you guys have a we'll see you next time bye